So you want to become a Azure developer, a cloud developer, and maybe you've heard of the AZ204 certification that's all about developing solutions for Microsoft Azure. And you're looking to get hands on because, you know, just memorizing the content for a certification is not going to get you hired, is not going to get you interviews. And you're like, all right, how do I get hands on? Well, my friends, you have come to the right video. So the, the, the Azure 204 has five areas of skills that the exam measures for. The first one is develop Azure compute solutions, 25 to 30% of the exam, develop for Azure storage, 15 to 20%, implement Azure security, which is 20 to 25%. The fourth is monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize Azure solutions, 15 to 20%. And the last one, connect to and consume Azure services and third-party services, 15 to 20%. And in this video, I have a project for each one of these areas. And you're going to be able to implement projects, showcase your skills, and actually learn the content that these certifications are trying to teach you. For each one of the projects, I have a project description, the infrastructure, a diagram, and a very general but specific enough of an implementation guide. So you can go struggle, want to quit, and then grab some momentum and keep going <laughs> with each one of your projects. Uh, but at the end of the day, learn to build something, all right? So with all that being said, hi, I'm GPS. I do cloud things at Microsoft here on YouTube. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment, and let me know which certification you want me to cover next. The certification with the most amount of comments is the one I'll do next. The 204 was the one with the most amount of comments in my last one, which was all about the, um, the Azure Administrator certification. So the one that gets commented the most on this one is going to be the one I cover next. Uh, and with all that being said, welcome to a new video. The first project you'll be building, which will implement the Develop Azure Compute Solutions skills, uh, is called a weather tracker. Essentially, it's a web application that allows users to track weather updates in real time for their chosen cities. The system also triggers Azure Functions for alerts when a specific weather threshold is met, like if it's going to rain. Let's head over to our diagram and talk a little bit more about this project. So what you're going to do is you're going to use app service and on here, you're going to build a front end application that a user can visit and they can type in maybe the city or the zip code. And then it will display like, Oh, the current weather here. And we, the goal for these projects is to keep them simple, but capable enough for you to test your skills. You can probably also create like a text field or an input field of some sort where they can provide their email and they hit a button and then that will trigger uh, some notifications. So you can do something simple as, okay, provide your email if you you would like notifications when it's going to rain in the city that you looked up, something like that, right? So you have your front end deployed on app service. And because this area, it tests for container technologies as well. Uh, I've set it up so your dev test, you know, you create your application, you containerize it, and you're going to store the image on container registry. Then you're going to deploy to container instances and get it to work there. You're going to implement Azure Functions so when someone provides the email here, it'll trigger a function to just alert them whenever there's rain or some kind of weather condition that you're trying to provide notifications for. It could be like when the temperature reaches beneath a, uh, a certain uh, number or above, something like that as well. And yeah, test that out. And then for, we can mimic like a production uh, environment and for your production environment, you can use Azure uh, container apps. Obviously you're not gonna have a lot of traffic and some advice for all of these projects is don't necessarily make them public, just use them for yourself to learn the technologies. That way you keep the bill sort of low, right? So in this project, we're using app service, container registry, container instances, Azure functions, and container apps, which are the services you are tested for in the develop Azure compute solutions. And that's actually a good chunk of the exam there, 25 to 30%. All right. Let's move into project number two. And on in the markdown, uh, the readme, which I will have linked 
in the description, you have overall some steps here too that you can follow. The second one is an Azure Document Vault with expiry and CDN integration, which will test for your develop for Azure Storage. You're going to be building a secure platform where users can upload important documents, assign tags for easier organization, and retrieve them. This system integrates expiration dates on shared links and utilizes Azure CDN to deliver content efficiently to users across various regions. So let's move into the area of uh, the diagram for project two. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention everything obviously is going to live in a resource group. So this one, I just called it weather tracker dash RG. This one's called document vault dash RG. So in similar fashion, your front end, you're going to have a, some kind of front end, whatever you want to use on an app service. And you can have a button and a, that says upload a file. Then the user can select document to upload. And that will upload to blob storage. Once the file is uploaded, the user can tag some sort of, uh, I don't know, maybe you can have tags like, oh, this is a, a notes or this is uh, a receipt or this is, um, I don't know, a script or something like that. There's a couple of options there, but create some sort of mechanism where people can tag the document. And you're going to save the metadata, so maybe the name of the file, the tags that it has, things like that to Azure, Azure Cosmos DB. You're going to use CDN on top of the blob storage so you can have better access. Uh, well, quicker, I guess more um, closer to where your customers are or your clients are uh, for in terms of like the files and the stuff that's static. You could also probably do like images instead of docs. If you wanted to, I just any kind of type of file that they can upload. I just did put docs because docs tend to be smaller, so you don't consume as much on your blob search. Uh, but that's just an idea there too. And you can also have it where uh, a person can either choose to upload a document, or you can have maybe some kind of table, or maybe it's a different page on your app on your website where you can see view files available to download, and then they see like oh doc one. It's a note. I want to download it and they click a button. This is generate a, a download link. And you have an Azure function that goes and generates a link, returns a link and have it set to like expire after 24 hours or six hours. You can make that dynamic as well. You can say generate a link for the next, I don't know, seven days, or you can just hard code the value in there too. But you can see you're getting hands on with a bunch of services. Azure, the Azure, this developed for Azure storage area, area I believe only tests for Blob Storage and Cosmos DB, which you're getting plenty of hands-on. But because it's a developer-focused certification, I'm trying to get you as much, much experience with app service and functions as possible. So that's why I threw them in there, all right? For our project number three, oh, and as usual, you have a implementation guide. It's a little bit more thorough there uh, for you as well. Okay, uh, project number three is the Secure Notes Viewer. This is the skills area, implement Azure security. And it is a, a web application that displays secret notes from Azure Key Vault only when the user logs in. So let's head over here to number three. And it is a private notes viewer dash RG. So what you're gonna, essentially what it is, is, is an application, I guess, again, another app service here. And a user will log in and then depending on what kind of access this user has, they'll see a different different notes or different secrets that you've put in Key Vault. So what we're gonna have to do is create like three or four dummy users in your Active Directory in, in a bunch of notes inside of Key Vault and say, this user has access to these notes, this user has access to these notes, and then each time you log in with different users, you just have to make sure that they are only seeing the resources that, that, that they have access to. Pretty straightforward. You could probably integrate some functions in here. You could probably containerize the application as well if you wanted to add a little bit. But since we're focusing on security, it's all about things like Key Vault, things like secure access, things like making sure roles are respected and stuff like that. And for any of these projects, feel free to add, integrate them. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about integration in a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of like a simple project to get hands on with that area. Now, project uh, four is actually for the area number five, this one here. 
But four is all about monitoring trouble, tr monitor, troubleshoot, and optimize Azure solutions 15 to 20%. And the reality is that all these projects should implement monitoring. So that's why I kind of left it in an area of its own and it applies to everything. I also put GitHub here because you should be implementing CI CD and obviously having you know version control in all of your projects. This is a developer focused certification after all. So that's why I didn't add it into each one individually, but it's an area of its own. So understand how to apply application insights to your your front ends, your back ends, how do you Azure monitor for any infrastructure related things. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a project on its own. I felt like it didn't really make sense to create a mo like a monitoring dashboard or anything like that. Just learn to integrate it into all of these and you're pretty solid there, all right? And finally, our project number, actually this is five, I'll probably rename this here, but it's an event-driven bookstore notification system which corresponds to connect to and consume Azure services and third-party services. So you're building an event-driven bookstore application that notifies subscribers when a new book is added to the inventory. The system integrates Azure's event-based and message-based solutions to handle real-time notifications. So this is, again, book notifications-rg. You're building, yet again, another uh, app service for front-end, or again, this could be, um, I don't know, container apps or something like that. Right, and then you're gonna have Azure API management uh, to handle our a API and um, like authenticating to it and, and services and things like that. And try to visualize like I had like a Gwen's favorite books.com and that was just a website that displayed all of my favorite books of the month and then, or all of my favorite books of all time or something like that. And then there was a little field where someone could type in their email address and then they could get notifications when I added another book to my favorite books list, right? And you can make this as complex as you'd like. You can create different user, uh, like user account capabilities where people create their own bookshelves. Think of something like Goodreads maybe. Uh, but just to keep it simple, I just said like, this is kind of like my own book, my favorite books application, I guess. And then, and the API integrates with Cosmos DB for obviously the book information, right? And for a subscriber collection, that way when someone provides their email, it'll go into Cosmos DB. Well, and the subscriber information will go into Cosmos DB. Obviously, you'll have to take the proper security measures there too. And then it will use Event Grid for whenever there is an update to the. Uh, API. So whenever there's more information, actually an update to the Cosmos DB collection. So whenever a new book is added or maybe a book is removed, it'll use Event Grid to say like, oh, there's a new event. Something happened to Cosmos DB. And then Event Grid will know, let me use Service Bus to notify the people who are interested or the subscribers who are interested in this update and it'll go and do that. There are other ways of implementing something like this. Functions comes to mind. Logic Apps comes to mind. But uh, messaging services and event services like Event Grid and Service Bus are tested in this area. So that's why I went with this infrastructure. It's not the cheapest, but again, this is kind of just for you. Just create a dummy email to, as a subscriber. They'll make it public and it shouldn't get too expensive. Alrighty. That is, that's actually it for all these projects. Again, be sure to check out the README. It's going to have all the diagrams, the infrastructure the implementation guide and descriptions there for you. But I try to keep these small, simple, so you could get them done over a weekend as you're studying. And then you can take, I don't know, a month and a week for the content, your, your week for the content and the weekend for the project kind of thing. And then, uh, you know, you study your certification in a month, you get hands on, you build a couple of projects and you pass. Uh, so again, don't forget to drop a comment on which certification you want me to cover next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.